hello. In this video, we are going to derive vibrations of the nickel tetrachloride dianion using the Kim method. In a previous video, we derived the stretches and bending vibrations of this molecule. And what remains in this part two is to derive uh, the more complicated vibrational motions, which we're going to refer to as torsions. To find the number of vibrations in a nonlinear molecule, that is equal to 3n minus 6, where n is the number of atoms in the molecule or ion. Here, the number of atoms is 5, n equals 5. So we have a total of 9 vibrations. This anion has the point group symmetry D4H. We've already derived stretches of A1G, B1G, and EU, and bending motions of B2G and EU. Note that the EUs are doubly degenerate representations, so they count for two vibrations each. So, so far, with these stretches and bands, we have found seven of the vibrations, which leaves two more to derive. And we'll see that those torsions have the symmetry of A to U and B to U. This dianion is planar. The high order rotation axis is a C4, and by convention, we put that particular axis along the Z axis, which leaves the five atoms in the uh, ion in the XY plane. And we arrange the atoms so that the um, axes are arranged as you see on the screen. For the torsion vibration, we're looking at motions of the atoms in the Z direction. So um, to give a kind of faux three-dimensional uh, appearance to these vectors, to show movement in the positive Z direction, that is this up and to the right uh, arrows that we see in blue. The uh, ion itself is in the XY plane, and these arrows are to suggest a movement of those atoms uh, in the Z direction. One requirement of the Kim method is to assign coordinates to each of the uh, atomic positions. And the only requirement for these coordinates is that they are consistent with the symmetry of the molecule. So uh, we try as much as possible to use the numbers 0, 1, and minus 1, for example. So we've arranged our um, atoms along the either the x or the y axis. And we, since it's a planar molecule, we've assigned a coordinate of z equals 1 for each of the atoms. In the Kim method, to find the uh, coefficients of each vector, T0 through T5, 
what we do is we take the x, y, z coordinates for that individual uh, vector and we plug them into a basis function. So the basis function for uh, symmetry a to u is z times x squared plus y squared. So if we compute uh, the value of that basis function using the coordinates of each of the vectors, we get that for t0, basis function is equal to zero, and for t1 through t4, their coefficients are each going to be simply one. This therefore gives us the um, linear combination of vectors that gives us this a to u torsion, t1 plus t2 plus t3 plus t4. And the way to interpret a positive coefficient plus one is we have a movement in the positive z direction. So we notice that um, t1 through t4 are all increasing while the central atom T0 stays in place. And this is therefore the A to U torsion motion for this diana. Now for the second and final torsion vibration, the B to U, we use the basis function Z times the quantity X squared minus Y squared. We get these basis functions from each uh, irreducible representation in the point group D4H. We can find these in any character table for our point group. So we evaluate the basis function, we plug the coordinates of our vector into the basis function, and that ends up giving us the uh, coefficient for each vector. T0 has a coefficient of zero, T1 and T2 have a coefficient of plus one, and T3 and T4 have coefficients of minus one. Here we have a graphic representation of the B to U vibration. The nickel atom at T0 has a coefficient of zero, so it's not moving. The chlorines at T1 and T3 have a positive coefficient, so they're moving in the positive Z direction up, whereas uh, the chlorines at T2 and T4 have a minus one coefficient, that means that they're moving in the negative z direction, therefore down. So with that, we have now derived all nine of the vibrations for this dianine using the Kim method. I thank you very much for your kind attention. Stay healthy, stay safe, and as always, have a good one.